This series is about my sixth Ford Ranger. I've owned six of them over the years. And they were all the same. Long box, V6, fleet. The fleet Rangers never had all the bells and whistles. It was just a truck. That was all I wanted. My first Ranger was a 1984. Then I got an 87. Then an 89 then a 93, and finally a 2007. This is an image of my 2007 Ford Ranger one day before it was sold with 194,000 miles. And here it is setting next to the new Ranger, the 2022. It was special ordered as a super cab, six foot one inch box, vinyl floor, cloth seats, mud flaps and the rear seat delete. After three close encounters with deer with my 2007 Ranger, I decided to buy myself a rhubarb. I looked on the internet and the one I chose was the Ranch Hand Legend Grill Guard. This is what it looks like when it arrived. It was a little wet, it was pouring rain that day. So I cut away the plastic to let it dry out. Here's the label of exactly what it is. And when it was all unpacked, that's what I had. So I set it off to the side in the barn and let it all thoroughly dry. And eventually, after about a week, we got some people together and we started to assemble it. First thing that comes off is the license plate bracket. You got two bolts and two plastic hooks. The next piece is this, I'm not sure what you call it, some kind of a plastic fascia. That was the hardest part of the entire build. It came off okay, but putting it back on was an absolute bear because those little tabs that you see, they go into metal retainers that you see here, and they should just snap in. Well, the amount of force involved in the tab going into that metal retainer pushes the metal retainer right through the steel wall of the truck and it falls down inside the bumper and you got to be a contortionist to get the, the metal retainers out. So eventually, when we were reassembling it, we, we tried and tried and finally said, hell with it. If they fall out, they fall out. So anyway, that was the hardest part. The rest, it went together fairly well. So there is the bumper removed, and we're going to install the bumper brackets. After the bumper brackets are installed, you have to install the tow hook brackets to the frame. The driver's side, left side, that goes on fine. The right side, passenger side, there's a little tab that you have to grind off, as you see here. And then it's a simple matter to take the tow hook brackets and using the tow hook bolts, bolt to the frame. Then you replace the bumper and you can see the tow hook brackets sticking out in front that the lower part of the rhubarb attaches to. Then you pivot the rhubarb up against the front of the truck and you align the holes in the rhubarb with the bumper brackets that we installed earlier and put the carriage bolts through and then you align it and do the final tightening. So that part's very easy. And when you're all done, we had six bolts, four lock washers, four washers left over from the hardware bag. And we decided not to put the rubber tow hook I don't know what you call those things. It's, it slides over the tow hooks that it got in the way of the tow hook brackets. So we just decided not to put them on. You can't really see up in there anyway. So we just decided to leave it right or wrong. That's what we did. The instructions were not clear on that point. So we backed out of the barn and there it is. That is my ranch hand rhubarb and side view. And that should, hopefully, when I have a close encounter with a deer, because there's the roads that I take to go to work, 
there's lots of deer in the fall that should bounce them off. 